hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on analog electronics okay and we'll be discussing about zener diode circuits okay so we've already discussed the basic concepts related to zener diode okay so we know that the zener diode is a properly doped crystal diode okay which has a sharp breakdown voltage and it is always connected in reverse bias mode the general symbol of a zener diode is something like this this okay like this this is a zener diode whereas a normal diode it is like this the p end the n end it is the p end and the n end where a normal diode uh, can be connected in both forward and reverse bias mode the zener diode is always connected in reverse bias mode normally when it is connected in forward bias mode it will always be off and even when it is connected in reverse bias mode the reverse bias voltage has to cross the breakdown voltage okay so whenever it is connected across an input voltage okay it is made sure that the reverse bias voltage is greater than the zener breakdown voltage only in that case it behaves as its equivalent circuit which is the zener voltage if it is lesser than the zener voltage it behaves as an open circuit okay off this is the on state this is the off state of the zener diode so these are the basic concepts related to zener diode which i have already discussed you can watch all the videos related to it in the analog electronics playlist now the zener diode circuits now mostly zener diode as use uh, they are used as a you know voltage regulator a voltage stabilizer to get a fixed voltage so normally you will find circuits like this this is the basic format of a circuit involving a zener diode first is the input the input voltage vi next is the series resistance r this one then we have the zener diode with a breakdown voltage of vz connected in reverse bias mode and then we have a load resistance rl so here we can get the circuit in different ways this circuit diagram which you see it is when the input voltage is fixed and the load resistance that is fixed so this is fixed input fixed load that case this is 
case 1. In that case, we will have a source current flowing through the series resistance, then there will be a Zener current, then there will be a load current. And we can be asked to find out different parameters associated with this circuit. We, we may be given all the values and we, we have to calculate the input voltage or we may be given to calculate the value of this R or value of I, IZ, breakdown voltage VZ, RL, IL, many things it can be asked. The second case is when the circuit is like this. Here it is like this. Like this. So, here the input voltage is variable and the load is fixed. The input voltage varies in between a minimum value Vi min and a maximum value Vi max. So here depending on this, the Zener current that also fluctuates. So here the Zener current is directly dependent on the input voltage. So when the input voltage is minimum, minimum Zener current flows and when the input voltage is maximum, the maximum Zener current flows. Load current IL is fixed because VZ is fixed, RL is fixed, load current IL is equal to VZ by RL which is fixed because both the numerator and denominator they are fixed. The breakdown voltage of the diode is fixed, load resistance is fixed, that is why it is constant. Okay. Only thing that is changing is IZ which fluctuates in between IZ min and IZ max. This is when input voltage is minimum, this is when input voltage is maximum. Okay. So this is IZ and depending on that the source current that also keeps changing okay IZ plus IL. So in one case it will be IZ min plus IL constant and in another case it might be IZ max plus IL constant. This is the second case. This is the second case. Another case is when the load resistance is variable. Okay, So here this is variable, input is fixed. So in this case what happens, the load current is also variable. So here when the load resistance is maximum that gives rise to minimum load current and when the load current uh, load resistance is minimum that gives rise to maximum load current okay 
this source current I flowing through the series resistance is fixed. Why? Because it is equal to this I is equal to V i minus V z by R. V i is fixed, breakdown voltage is fixed, R is fixed. That means I is fixed. Here, depending on the fluctuations of the load current, the Zener current also fluctuates between Iz min and Iz max. Okay, so Iz min flows, the minimum value of Zener current occurs when the load current is maximum, and the maximum value of Zener current flows when the load current is minimum. Why? Because if we apply KCL here, the series resistor current is equal to Iz plus Il. So, when the load current goes up, the Zener current goes down because I is constant. This is constant. So, when the load current will go up, the Zener current will go down. When the load current will go down, the Zener current will go up to keep the same value of I constant. Okay, so here minimum Zener current corresponds to maximum load current, maximum Zener current corresponds to minimum load current, I is fixed. So, this is the third case when the load resistance is variable, input voltage is fixed. So, these are the different situations depending on this we may be asked to calculate any of the circuit parameters. Okay? We may be asked to determine V i, we may be asked to determine the series resistance, we may be asked to determine the source current, we may be asked to determine the uh, Zener current and the range of variation of Zener current that is Iz minimum to Iz maximum like this we may be asked to determine IL, the range of fluctuation of load current IL max to IL min. Then we may be asked to determine RL, okay? uh, the range of fluctuations RL max to RL min depending on the circuit configuration. So, these are the parameters which may be asked. So, certain parameters will be given in the circuit and depending on that we have to first determine what kind of circuit it is, whether it is fixed load, fixed source type, variable source, fixed load type or fixed input or fixed source, variable load type. And accordingly, we have to proceed using the given data to determine the required parameters. Okay? So, these are some basic concepts related to Zener diode circuits. So, we will solve many questions, many problems on these Zener diode circuits to get a good idea about what, uh, how we can proceed uh, about solving these circuits. Okay?